This today presented by Audi before his first place Scranton Rail Riders take on the Rochester Red Wings, the AAA affiliate of the Nats. Rail Riders manager Doug Davis was gracious enough to spend some time with us, talk about his players making an impact at the big league level. I'm going to go out on a very sturdy limb here and, and say, Doug, you're not at all surprised at the impact your players are making with the Yankees right now. No, I'm not. Uh, you know what? That's kind of been our goal uh, and our priority ever since those guys uh, showed up, for the most part, at the alternate site. I mean, our focus has been on making sure on a daily basis that everybody's ready and prepared uh, whenever those calls come. Uh, you know, you know how the game is, the industry is. Uh, you never know. And so, you know, again, our main focus has been to make sure everybody's well prepared when that call comes and, and one of our guys needs to go up to uh, to New York or, in this case, Several of our guys need to go to New York and help out. You have such a great job because you get to bring the guys in and tell them they're on their way to the Bronx or on the road with the Yankees somewhere. How cool is that for you to be the bearer of that tremendous news? I think, honestly, that's one of the most exciting parts about this job because, uh, you know, I was through it a little bit as a player. I experienced that. And. And I've been through it a lot over the course of years in different capacities of uh, being able to be involved with telling somebody that he's, he's going to the big leagues. And, and especially for the first timers, it's really special. And, and it's a great honor to be able to, to call somebody in who's able to, you know, finally, you know, reach kind of one of their goals, one of their dreams and go go to the major leagues as a baseball player. Doug, Greg Allen was with uh, the Indians in the majors. How hungry has he been all season with you down there in Scranton to get this opportunity? Well, Greg, you know, the first time I met Greg, I could tell the type of professional he was. Um, Greg's been very committed to uh, what what his role has been. I think he knew that, uh, you know, he, he was going to ultimately have an opportunity at some point to get up there and be able to make an impact. Uh, he's been there before. He's very comfortable with that. He was very comfortable here as a role role model and uh, as an experienced player and, and sharing information with the rest of the younger guys. So, yeah, Greg, Greg was hot when he went up. He stayed hot, uh, you know, very proud of the effort that he's put forth up there. And I'm glad, you know, glad he's getting an opportunity to showcase what he's uh, able to do as a, as a professional baseball player for the Yankees. Yeah, he's starting tonight. Ryan Lamar is also starting tonight. What are some of the intangibles you've seen from Ryan? Well, Ryan's a competitive guy. I mean, he when he shows up to the ballpark, he's a man on a mission. Uh, he knows exactly what he wants to do. He, he prepares himself very well. Uh, he, again, he's been another guy that's experienced. He's been up there, so he's not really experiencing anything he hasn't been through before. And uh, and he knew that, uh, you know, every day he came to the ballpark here that it was about pre preparation uh, and making sure that he was the best he could possibly be, be on a daily basis. And uh, and that's shown up when he's gone up there. Again, he's a confident guy and, and uh, not surprised at all at the success he's having. You've seen Esteban Florial for about 200 plus at bats in Scranton. What have you liked most about Esteban? Well, Esteban's a, he's, he's an athlete. You know, he, he's a five tool player. Um, you know, he's still developing. He's still working on an awful lot of things and, and he's committed to that. You know, he's out here working every day on specific areas of the game uh, because he knows that he can make an impact in, in different ways uh, during the course of a baseball game, whether it be on defense, on the bases or offensively. And so his commitment to that, uh, just staying on course and, and picking the brains of some of the other older guys on this team has, has been very valuable for us. Davey Garcia, uh, Doug, he had one of the biggest starts and biggest wins for the Yankees last season. Can you just kind of take us through some of the ups and downs he's had this season for you all? Well, I think Davey, um, you know, experienced something that just about every, I think, pitcher that, that's gone to the big leagues is, will experience or has experienced in the past. Uh, you know, he just did a little bump in the road. And, and for whatever reason, uh, his command suffered a little bit, and uh, but but Davy, you know, Davy has battled his way through this. I think it's been a really good experience for him because the next time you know these things happen, he's going to be very well prepared to to know how to handle it and work his way through it. Uh, hopefully, he'll be doing that, you know, in, in a New York Yankee uniform. But uh, his last four or five starts, to be honest with you, have been extremely good. They've progressively gotten better. 
command of his fastball has been terrific. And, uh, and I know he is very confident right now, and he's looking forward to the next opportunity that he gets. Doug, his success is kind of going hand in hand with the overall success of your club. You're in first place in your division. What are some of the things uh, that your team has been doing this season specifically to have you in this position? Well, in my opinion, they're, they're playing good baseball, um, you know, all, all around. We're, we're aggressive. Uh, that shows up on the bases. We have probably more stolen bases now than we, we've had in the other years that I've been here, uh, you know, with the other teams. I think we focused on that. I think that, that uh, has, has transferred into other areas of the game for us. We've been a very good offensive club. Uh, but when you have, you know, we've had Luke Voigt a couple of times and, and, and a few other guys, and we had a terrific, you know, offensive club with, with all of the guys that are now in the big leagues. Uh, so we score a bunch of runs. Uh, the pitching has been consistent and consistently getting better and better as the year's gone on. But again, I, I just kind of attribute it to the fact that these guys are committed to, to working and, and to playing a good baseball game every night. They get a chance to go out and perform. Thanks for sending some of those steals to the Bronx, Doug. We do appreciate it. And thank you for the time. We know you have a game tonight. So best of luck in the game tonight against Rochester. We'll see you down the line. Thank you. My pleasure. To learn more about the Rail Riders and the rest of the Yankees farm system, tune in all summer long to Yes's Emmy-nominated docu-series, Homegrown, The Path to Pinstripes. Our next episode will premiere this coming Wednesday following our Yankees coverage at approximately 11 o'clock, and it's going to focus on the Yanks' new AA affiliate, the Somerset Patriots. You can also watch Homegrown on the Yes app as Gary Sanchez, a homegrown Yankee, takes some cuts in the cage.